Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this session is CCP that is Compare, Capture and PWM modes for the PIC microcontroller 18F. As far as this session is concerned, I will explain you Compare and Capture modes. Uh, from the exam point of view, we may expect the generalized question like explain, compare and capture modes of uh, uh, PIC 18F microcontroller or a separate question can be asked to elaborate the ideas related to compare or related to capture modes of this. Now, see, what does it mean? Like I have told you, PWM mode we will discuss later. Presently, in today's session, I am explaining you the compare and capture mode. As the name indicates, compare means uh, we will be using timers. One timer will give a signal, the other timer will के सिग्नल के साथ कंपेयर करेंगे व्हेनेवर मैच इज फाउंड दैट मींस इफ टू सिग्नल्स आर मैचिंग देन अ पर्टिकुलर इवेंट इज डिटेक्टेड एज फार एज द कैप्चर मोड इज कंसर्न सिमिलर कांसेप्ट इज देयर मतलब एक पिन को हम लोग रेफरेंस सिग्नल दे देंगे एंड व्हेनेवर द मैचिंग इज फाउंड दैट पर्टिकुलर इवेंट इज कैप्चर्ड ये हम लोग डिटेल में लर्न करने वाले हैं सो so, uh, we will be using timer 0, uh, sorry, timer 1, timer 2 or timer 3. As far as compare mode is concerned, as I have told you, compare means we, we will be comparing the two things. So for compare mode and capture mode, we will be using timers 1 or 3. And for PWM, that is pulse width modulation waveform generation, we will be using timer 2. As far as the programming part is concerned or general explanation is concerned, we will be using three registers for CCP modes. First is CCP1 control register, CON. CCP1 control register, that is 8-bit register. We will discuss in detail. Karne wale. Second, we will be using 16-bit registers that is, that is used uh, in compare and capture mode only, that is CCPR compare and capture mode. 1H and CCPR1L. This is 1H. Naturally, it re represents higher 8 bits. 1L represents lower 8 bits. So, total will be combination of 16 bits. Third is duty cycle register. It is 10 bit register, which is used in PWM mode. So, these three registers we use karne wale as far as CCP modes are concerned. So, as I said, if the question is generalized question like explain CCP modes of PIC microcontroller, you need to mention only this thing as well as the timers used in this. And you need to mention the contents of CCP1 CON register that is compare, capture and PWM mode control register. So, this is the diagram for uh, CCP1 control register. The bits of these diagrams, as the name indicates, are used for controlling, uh, uh, I mean, the capture option or compare option, option as well as the PWM option. So, first two bits, these are MSB bits. So, first two MSB bits are reserved. Next bits are DC1, B1 and DC1, B0. These mid modes are only used in PWM, that is pulse width modulation. अब देखो पल्स विड्थ मॉड्यूलेशन के केस में हमने ये डिस्कस किया है देयर आर 10 बिट्स टू बिट्स आर दीस टू बिट्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड टू कंट्रोल द ड्यूटी साइकिल व्हाट इज अ ड्यूटी साइकिल वी नो दैट स्क्वायर वेव इज लाइक दिस इफ द पीरियड ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑन पल्स दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑफ पल्स इफ पीरियड ऑफ ऑन एंड ऑफ पल्स इज सेम इट इज कॉल्ड 50% ड्यूटी साइकिल अगर इसका ज्यादा है मतलब ऑन पल्स 75 है 75% है ऑफ पल्स 25% है सो ड्यूटी साइकिल विल बी 75% एंड सो ऑन लाइकवाइज द ड्यूटी साइकिल इज डिसाइडेड नाउ these two bits, as I have told you, this is actually duty cycle register which we are going to learn in PWM mode in detail. It consists of 10 bits. 8 bits are taken from CCP1 CON register. So, 8 bits are taken from CCP1L, that is lower register of this. Compare and capture programming which the register is used, the lower, out of which 8 lower bits are used for this PWM mode and 2 extra bits which are required are used. These are the DC1B1 and DC1B0 bits. These are used to control the duty cycle. This combination is written in 
this sequence is DC1 B1 and DC1 B0. If this is 0, 0, duty cycle will be 0%. 0, 1, ye 0 duty cycle means you will be getting off uh, cycle, only off cycle, no on cycle. 0, 1, 25%, 1, 0, 50%, 1, 1, 100%, and so on. Now, these four bits, CCP1, M3, M2, M1, and M0, these bits are basically CCP, that is compare and capture mode, as well as PW mode, select bits. Harika combination may nearly care hai. So, uh, if the, naturally these are four bits, so there will be combinations from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. There will be 16 combinations. So, if the first combination, I am talking about this, sequence is CCP1, M3, M2, M1, M0, from higher bit to lower bit. So, if the uh, bits we are 0, 0, 0, 0, it indicates reset operation. Then 0, 0, 0, 1 is reserved. 0, 0, 1, 0 is used for compare mode. Once the compare uh, comparison is found between uh, the signals at two timers, then the output is toggled. Then next is 0, 0, 1, 1 is again reserved. 0, 1, 0, 0 is capture mode which is working on falling edge. Here downward arrow indicates falling edge. Next 0, 1, 0, 1 it is capture mode for rising edge. Next 0, 1, 1, 0 again capture mode but for fourth rising edge. Next capture mode for 16th ri rising edge. Then 1, 0, 0, 0 it is for compare mode. Ab dekho, isme CCPIF, matlab flag jo hota hai, after comparison, the flag bit is set. The flag bit is set to G, uh, set to 1. Initially, this bit was 0. So, after comparison, once the comparison is uh, formed or detected, then this particular flag bit is generated. Initially, it was 0. After com uh, after finding the comparison, this bit is set, set to 1. So, it generates CCP high pin. Next, 1, 0, 0, 1. It is exactly opposite to this mode. Is me kya karte? Pahle initialize me, initialization me 0 karte. CCP pin jo hai, that is set to 0. Or the CCP IF bit is set to 0. After finding the comparison, this bit is made to 1. Is se exact opposite karte. Matlab, initially this bit is 1. After finding the comparison, the bit is set to 0. Next, 1, 0, 1, 0. It is used for compare mode. And in this case, CCP pin is not affected then 1011 it is again used for compare mode and it resets the timers your timer hum log use karne wale jase maine yaha pe explain kiya compare ke liye one or three timer use karte so the timer is reset and it starts analog to digital conversion that is it starts adc then 11xx 11xx matlab you know it 1100 and 1111 all these modes, I mean 11XX combination is used for PWM mode. Next part, compare mode. From the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Explain in detail, compare mode of PIC uh, 18F microcontroller. So you need to draw this diagram. Ab dekho, compare mode hai, matlab, you need to compare uh, the values with the values which are stored in either timer 1 or timer 3 registers. So as a reference, we are uh, re uh, referring the values which are stored in timer 1 high and timer 1 low register. These are 16 bit values because high and low 8 bits plus 8 bits. Similarly, if you are using timer 3, then again there are uh, timer 3, uh, TMR3 high and TMR3 low values. So let us say I am using timer 1 uh, mode for the comparison. Then we have discussed CCPR that is uh, capture and compare uh, mode ke liye register use karte. So this high and low values total gives us 16 bits. These bits, this comparator will co continuously compare these 16 bits with the 16 bits of let us say timer 1. Just say I have told you optional. Hai. We can use timer uh, 1 or timer 3. Let us say we are using timer 1. Use kar so it is com continuously comparing the values. Whenever the matching is detected at that time, a particular flag that is CCP1IF that is compare flag 
इट्स ट्रिगर्ड अब देखो हम लोगों को ये वैल्यूज सेट करने हैं रजिस्टर के सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द वैल्यूज द ट्रिगर सिग्नल कैन बी जनरेटेड इट कैन बी दिस फ्लैग कैन बी सेट टू हाई इट दिस फ्लैग कैन बी सेट टू लो हम लोगों ने ऑलरेडी ये रजिस्टर के वैल्यूज डिटेल में डिस्कस किए हैं नाउ वट आर द स्टेप्स फॉर राइटिंग द प्रोग्राम्स एज फार एज दिस कंपेयर मोड इज कंसर्न फर्स्ट इज इनिशियलाइज सी सी पोई वन सी ओ एन रजिस्टर दैट इज हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया है सीसीपी uh, मोड का कंट्रोल रजिस्टर के वैल्यूज इनिशियलाइज करने फॉर कंपेयर ऑपरेशन देन सिलेक्ट टाइमर आइदर टाइमर वन और टाइमर थ्री थर्ड स्टेप इनिशियलाइज सीसीपीआर हाई एंड लो रजिस्टर्स फॉर कंपेयर मोड मतलब ये जो वैल्यूज है सीसीपीआर हाई और लो रजिस्टर के वैल्यूज इनिशियलाइज करने हैं देन इनिशियलाइज सीसीपी वन पिन एज अ आउटपुट पिन ये जो पिन है दैट विल बी यूजिंग एज अ आउटपुट पिन फॉर द कंपेरिजन देन इनिशियलाइज टाइमर वैल्यूज फॉर कंपेयर मोड ये जो टाइमर वैल्यूज है लेटर से हम लोग टाइमर वन यूज कर रहे हैं ये वैल्यूज इनिशियलाइज करेंगे फॉर द कंपेरिजन मोड then we will start the timer and whenever the comparison is uh, found then uh, uh, particular flag bit will be uh, uh, selected i mean it will be giving indication so we need to check the flag bit capture mode we have to use ccp1 pin as a input pin jaise dekho hum logo ne compare mode discuss kiya usme ccp p1 pin we were using as output pin isme we are using ccp1 pin as a input pin and whenever an event occurs on that ccp1 pin then that particular event will be captured so again we will be using any one of the timers like timer 3 or uh, timer 1 we will have to choose any one timers uh, then whenever an event occurs that particular event will be captured and contents of let us say i am using timer 3 register then contents of timer 3h and timer 3l will be captured in ccpr 1h and ccpr 1l this is again 16 bit register so will be captured uh, in the in this 16 bit register that is ccpr 1h and 1l register this is the capturing op operation event can be captured either by using a rising gauge or by using a falling gauge or by using a fourth rising gauge or by using 16th rising gauge and so on now whenever an event is captured like the compare mode a particular flag is set these are the steps to write the uh, program when using a uh, capture mode first step is initialize ccp1 control uh, register bits so that we can use it in a capture mode then select timer 1 or 3 again this is optional we may select any one of the timers this can be done by using timer control register then initialize ccp1 pin as a input pin ye capture mode isliye input pin use as a input pin use karenge then read timer values on first rising edge and store these values likewise in the next step read timer values in the second rising edge and again store it and last step is subtract the values which we have obtained in first rising gauge from the values which we will obtain from second rising gauge and accordingly the event can be detected so this is about the capture mode of operation using pic 18f so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video